Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's another video. Before we get started, I really would love it if you would subscribe, like, click the bell, do the things that you gotta do so that the good sis can be recognized by YouTube, so that the good sis can be seen in the platform, in the life. Of the YouTube space really would appreciate it if you could like the video subscribe and also click the bell we'd love to have you here especially this is really really important because we are talking about YouTube now these are the things that you need to know before starting a YouTube channel these are the things that I didn't even know right I didn't think of these things but over the years I have watched content and I've watched YouTube tips videos and all of that and I feel like I want to share this stuff with you. Really, really important. Before we get started, can we talk about how lovely my iced coffee looks? Mm? Eh? Lovely. Powerful. It tastes amazing. Okay, let me just get into it. I, I can see that you are here for a particular... Okay, we just... Okay, go, go. So, I'm pretty sure that you guys would love to know what tips that I can give you that are pretty much all over YouTube um, that you can listen to or follow if you want to start a YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you, okay? But one thing I love about YouTube tips and content creators giving tips and all of that is a lot of the time they make it seem so analytical and they make it seem hard and they make it seem whatever. Look, it's not easy. I'm not going to say that it's easy, um, but they make it seem hard and whatever. And it just seems so daunting when you think about starting a YouTube channel. You think, oh my God, I need to do this and I need to do that and I need to do this. And I yes, there's a lot of work involved in it. However, if you're into YouTube for the right reasons and you want to do this because you really want to put yourself out there, you want to share your craft, you want to share the things you like, you want to share whatever, whatever, and you want to do it on the YouTube platform space, then... This is important for you to know. Number one, Nene, YouTube is hard. Before we go far, YouTube is hard. I need you to understand this concept, okay? Even though it is something that you love. For most of us who are on YouTube, we love what we do on YouTube. We didn't go into YouTube because we wanted to make a ton of money. We do want to make money, okay? We want the, want the chunkers, we want the chunks, okay? We do want to make money, however, it is also because we want to share our love for whatever, right? Or we want to be in a platform where we can speak to people and people can engage with us and all of that while in the comfort of our own home. And if we're making money at the same time, then okay, sis. Okay, cool. All right, it's cool. Um, so, but one thing you do need to understand is that YouTube is hard. Gents, guys, it's not easy. There's a lot of work that goes into YouTube. And I feel like people think that you can get the easy way out by starting a YouTube channel. Oh, so they have a YouTube channel. Oh, so she started a YouTube Oh, and she's doing the money. Oh, she's getting the money and doing the things. Um, there's a lot of content creators. So again, it's a very saturated space. But also at the same time, if you are coming to the platform with a unique idea and this and this and this, or you, do, you just even want to share your personality, sure. But be aware that YouTube is not easy. It's very, very hard. And once you prepare your mind for that, you're good to go. You're good to go. Number two, number two, your channel, your channel name. Now you need to consider the importance of this point. This point is so, so, so important because a lot of the time, if your, your channel name is going to just tell us a little bit more about you or what you are into when it comes to YouTube. So the safest way is always to just use your name. This helps, um, especially when people uh, try and steal your name so that their channel can get money and whatever so that there's a confusion, right? So if somebody's Naledi M official and then somebody else comes out with Naledi M official one A lot of the time there's going to be you know and blah 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 and then they can steal videos and all of that and then another channel ends up making uh, money off of your name so your name must your off of your hard work rather so your name your channel name is very very important and i feel like you have to consider this one wisely and also bring down your channel name to your niche so whatever you can do that as well right so whatever your channel name if um 
if you are you know tato fox and you do a uh, king beauty you do strictly beauty not like tato fox i'm just using her name right uh, as an example but you do strictly beauty you can do beauty by tato fox or you can do makeup by tato fox by t fox or you can do whatever you can you can literally play around with your name so that as soon as somebody clicks on your channel they know exactly what they're going to find when they get there right so if you're doing like uh there's Yolande who is on here and she's, I think, DIY with Yolande or Yolande DIY. She comments on my videos quite a bit. Clean. You already know what you're going to find when you go to her channel. You know that she's going to be doing some stuff with Builders Warehouse and seesaws and this and this and creating stuff, right? Creating stuff. That's what she does best. So, um... Always bring it back. If you feel like you don't want to use just your name, then bring it back to whatever niche it is. And then, Langtol, Langtol, call your channel by that particular name, which leads people to understand what your channel is about. Niche. Very, very important. I did not know this. This is something that I did not know. I just wanted to create videos, bro. Like, what do you even mean, bruh? I just wanted to create videos. I just wanted to, um, you know, do my thing with my sister. I love makeup. I started with my sister and we started as Beauty Corner SA. And we wanted to do makeup. At that time, that's what we were doing, right? But then eventually as we continued, you know, our different interests started coming out. And then they, we were just like, oh man, I don't know. I want to talk about this on the channel. Like I want to talk about bullying. And, and my sister would be like, oh, okay, cool. But now the videos on our channel were pretty much, now there's a video on bullying. On a makeup channel, you know what I'm saying? So there's, 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 you need to bring it down. Don't bring it down too much because then you're going to cage yourself in, right? So don't bring it down too much, but you need to bring it down as to people can understand what the central focus of your channel is. So for me, it's lifestyle, lifestyle content and vlogs. So that's it. In my vlogs, I will... Just do stuff around the house and yada yada, blah, 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 travel and vlog it and all of that. It's all part of vlogging, right? And then the lifestyle content will be your candid with cats and your whatever, whatever that I post up on my channel. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. So um, it's really, really important to develop a niche and know and research and figure out what it is, is that you want to talk about or what you want your channel to be about while you're at it write down some video ideas. So once you figure out what the niche is and whatever, write down some video ideas so that you have a clear basis of where you're going to start. Very, very important because you're gonna do just one video, just two video, and then, oh, just one video and then do another video two months later for real. Have a plan when it comes to when you start your channel. Have a plan, okay? Have a plan. Let me take a sip of my drink. The important thing is watch videos on YouTube tips. Now I'm talking about how to start a channel, how to grow it, the YouTube al algorithm, all of this stuff. This is stuff that you need to know. This is stuff that will help you. I didn't think about this stuff when I started. I was just like, oh, you know what? It's cool, man. It's cool, bro. I'm just going to do this, this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. And that's it. I'm going to put my content out there, whatever. And wow, my channel growed very, very slowly. Growed? grew <laughs> my channel grew very very slowly in the first year and then you started picking up a little bit and now it's it's moving faster than it ever has ever so um so you need to i started watching those kinds of things and knowing that oh okay algorithm oh okay tips on how to oh okay blah 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 and blah 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 so um, um all i'm saying is that acclimate yourself to youtube tip videos a watch them we all need a little bit of help okay so these videos are there to do just that for you and don't feel embarrassed that no i'm just gonna wing it i'm just gonna be like jake paul man i'm just gonna do this 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 no just watch a video a two or three or ten that'll help you figure out that oh so this oh so this oh so this algorithm this Watch, acclimate yourself to watching tip videos, especially about YouTube and growing a YouTube channel. Please. Thanks. Moving on to the next one, consistency is key. Now you cannot, you cannot 
come onto YouTube and then expect Uguti, you're going to put up a video today and then put up a video three months later and expect to make anything off of YouTube. Listen, if your first video okay, is creative and it hasn't been done before because there are videos that haven't been done before. As much as there are so many videos out there, whatever, but no one is you. No one can tap into your mind, okay? So um, if you come one month and you put up a video, blah, 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 and then you boom, bruh, you boom, and you get monetized immediately and all of that, then sure, you got lucky. But a lot of the time, it doesn't mean that if you post a video now, and then you post three months later. You're, you're not, you're setting yourself up for failure. Especially if you're thinking that you want to make money off of YouTube and all of that. If you're going to walk into it saying that you want to make money off of YouTube, then you're, you're really quickly going to burn out. You're going to burn out. So think about things like, you know what? Okay, this is what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I need to be consistent. Have an upload schedule. Figure out how many times a week you're going to upload. At what days of the week. I'm actually quite, quite bad at this because I just upload whenever. But I know that generically, two videos a week standard by me. And... Just figure out things like that. Really, really important because consistency is key when it comes to YouTube. It's a lot of work and editing is a lot and all of this and all of that. It's fine, but consistency really is key. It really, really is key. So, you know, the next point is level up as you go. So this means that you know how we always say as content creators, you can use your phone to start your channel. It's the truth. You can use your phone. Phones are great. Phones these days, the cameras, God, what do you even mean, bro? Okay, a lot of the time when I'm out, I actually film, I'm actually ready to get the iPhone 12 or 13, 13, but maybe I might get 12, I don't know about 13, man, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know, uh, but I film content when I'm out and about on my phone as opposed to my M50 because I get really paranoid about how, oh my God, what if I lose it? What if I leave it at a restaurant and then I don't find it when I come back and this and that and the other. So I get very, very paranoid about losing my camera and the M50 alone is like 13,000 Rand, never mind the DSLR, 12,000, never mind the DSLR and that kind of stuff. So we always say, start with what you have, right? So your phone and then go. Put up, da -da -da, get a tripod, all of that on, on, on uh, take a lot. It's about a hundred and something. It's fine. Do this. Start with what you have. But I do want to add, level up as you go. It is really, really important if you want to make, you know, if you want to make your stuff pop, bro. If you want to make your stuff pop, level up as you go. I've written things down, okay? Level up as you go. So I'm talking about things like epidemic sound for your music, for your, um, you know, when you, you have your, your vlogs and, you know, like the Muledi Gorge vlog and we were going on a game drive and I had the safari music and whatever. Level up. Get music from... Uh, 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 level up on your music, subscribe to different subscription services that are going to help create overlays, do uh, trailers in the beginning. You can have like an intro and an outro, blah, blah, blah. All big YouTubers or YouTubers that have been in the game for a while know that this is a standard. You kind of have to have a little intro. You know how CB's got rigorous, 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 rigorous. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You get it. You get it there. It's, it is there. You know before a video of his starts or if somebody's watching it next door and they've got their windows open, you know that, ah, they're listening. They're watching Sibu. You already know. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, you have intros, have overlays, have invest into, you know, those little things that we put here, that subscribe. Or this little thing that, an overlay that comes across the side like this. I'm going to try and find it so I can put it like this. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Level up as you go. So music, invest into subscription services and whatever. Thumbnails. Pipe up. Make your thumbnails really like yo, wonderful. Because the thumbnail is the first thing that people see. Okay? As, as well as the title, but a thumbnail is the first thing that people see. Very, very important to level up as you go. And then save. So as you are doing YouTube with your camera and with your phone and all of that, put money away so that you can buy a camera. And as time goes, you will develop. Your cameras will get better and all of that. But cameras are really good nowadays. If you get a good 
uh, 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 what's this camera? M50 or whatever. You can use that M50 for, 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 for years because it's so good and blah, blah, blah. And then you'll invest into lighting and all of that dependent on what type of content creation you are creating. So it's really, really important, but very, very important to level up as you go. Invest in lights, invest in this, especially when you are makeup influence or whatever studio lighting and all of that is really really important and all of that so um invest in yourself and invest in your craft if you're going to want to make it or to stand out maybe not make it big but to stand out on youtube and whatever invest in your craft the last two the last two are really really clean easy simple try to be yourself don't copy, don't imitate. And when I say don't copy, don't imitate, I'm not talking about uh, don't do vlogs or don't do makeup tutorials or whatever, whatever. Do what you want to do, sure. But be yourself in the video. Give off yourself. Don't try to twang and I, I, I just, I don't know, you know, I don't know, if I, I'm just trying to talk like the Kardashians and stuff and all of that. Just be yourself. Be who you are. People gravitate. And if I can just speak for my followers, you people that are watching right now, you gravitated to me for me being myself. I know that I'm a homebody. I know a lot of the time that content is going to come from my house as opposed to coming from out there and whatever. I know that my particular content uh, creation niche is not the one, it's not the one that, that pulls in the most... Um, um, views on YouTube or whatever. Like I talk about mental health. I talk about things that are not uh, crowd pleasers, crowd pleasers. Okay. In uh, the YouTube space and all of that, but there are people who love my channel. Thank you for loving my channel. Okay. Uh, but there are people who love my channel and they will gravitate to you. Just be yourself, you know? And if you're shy, you're shy. And if you're an extrovert, you're an extrovert. If you're an introvert, you're an introvert. You be you. Be you. Don't be too cool for school. Don't be a cool kid. Okay? Because cool kids burn out on, on behind a camera. They're gonna burn out at some point. Just be you, bro. It be like that sometimes. Catch me outside. Yeah. Finally, finally, have fun with it. Enjoy YouTube, bro. YouTube is fun, man. It's, this is the one space where you can really be yourself. This is the one space where people who do this full time, they have the right. These are the people that have the right to actually say, you know what? This, is not, this to me doesn't feel like a job. Because a lot of the time when you get onto the YouTube space and all of that, you're being, there's no one else that you can be but yourself. You understand what I'm saying? So really just go out there and have fun with it. YouTube is fun, bro. But when you are in that space, when you are enjoying yourself, you give the best of yourself for your content. You know what I mean? Yes, we're not going to grow at the same speeds and at the same pace and whatever, but we're different. People are different. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that cause you to be despondent. And I know I'm saying this when there were times where I, think you're, I was thinking of quitting YouTube and all of that. I get it. I get the chat. I'm here for the chat. However, I kept on going because I kept on being drawn back to creating content, taking pictures, shots, product shots, what, what. I really enjoy being uh, creative, but at the same time, I enjoy talking and engaging with you guys because I can do it from the comfort of my home. As an introvert, that is a blessing. Trust. So just really, really um, enjoy it, man. Have fun with it. YouTube is fun, okay? It's a lot of hard work, but it's fun. More than anything, it should be fun. If it's not fun for you, you're going to burn out really, 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 really quickly. You're going to burn out. Anyway, I hope these uh, tips helped. There are so many of them. Check out channels like Think Media. And there are so many YouTube tips channels. They're good. From everything to equipment to what you need for this and YouTube algorithm and tips on how to grow your channel and this and this. They've got everything. So all you need to do is just play around, know what you want, give yourself a great channel name and have fun with it. That's it. That's it. And then as you grow, invest in yourself a little bit more and in your space and in your craft. Aside from that, that's pretty much it from me. If you did enjoy this video, I really would love it. Would love it if you could um, subscribe. 
like the video, share this video, that would mean a lot to me. Repost the videos on Instagram and all of that, it helps get my name out there. This is why we always like to say, please like, subscribe and share. It really hurts my feelings when some of you will be like, I've actually been a silent watcher for six months now. Six months, eh? Why is that? It's, it's not going to cost you nothing. Nothing, just... That's all you need to do is free 99. That's it. That's it. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go now and I'll see you in the next video. Sayonara.